All right, thanks for tuning in to Science Around the World with Culp and Gold. Today we are going to talk to you about protecting your body during a lab. So how to stay safe during a lab, our I can statement, I can protect my body during a lab, and I will identify the appropriate dress code for a lab and why the dress code is necessary. All right, step number one for getting ready for a lab. First of all, we need to talk about what to wear and what not to wear on your feet. Never wear open-toed shoes or sandals. This is in order to avoid coming in contact with chemicals and to avoid other injuries. Keep a pair of tennis shoes or other closed-toed shoes in your locker for quick access. Now, we do have one person with us today that's going to model for us. This is Ms. Culp, in case any of you don't know. And uh, step number one, open-toed shoes. Gotta go. I gotta go get my tennis shoes and put on my socks and my tennis shoes. Oh, socks, socks. So we gotta protect our feet. Keep these in your locker where you can be ready to go for jet I mean, lab time. Okay, so first step is deal with your feet. No open-toed shoes. All right, the second step is to remove any article of clothing that will hang down or touch the chemicals, flames, or other equipment. This includes coats and jackets. Right, Horse cars. On. So if we lean down, we see that our jacket kind of leans down, so we need to take it off. Oh. All right, so Bye. jacket's got to go. Roll up or secure long sleeves. This is in order to prevent them from touching chemicals, flames, or equipment. This includes your hoodies, your sweatshirts, and your shirts with loose sleeves. So we got to roll up the sleeves. Okay, please do not simply just pull them up. You need to roll them up. Roll, roll them up. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Get your sleeves a rolling ride. <laughs> okay, and you got to do both sides. Um, and when you're in the lab, try not to continually go back and mess with them because once you have chemicals and stuff on your hands, you don't want to be touching your shirt. All right, so roll up your sleeves. <clears throat> Next, we're going to deal with the hair. It says tie back your long hair to keep it out of your face and away from chemicals, flames, and equipment. Keep a hair bow, a hair band, or hair pins in your locker for quick access. This does not... We're just not talking to ladies here. We're talking about ladies and gentlemen as well. But Miss Gold, I mean, look, look at my hair. Look at my bow. I got to take this out. Uh, you got to tie back your hair. Oh, okay. And don't forget, do I have to wear this all day like this? You have to wear it during science class, during the lab. Just during science class. All right, now we want to talk about jewelry. You've got to remove or cover your jewelry, including rings, watches, bracelets, necklaces, earrings, etc. This is to prevent them, again, from being contaminated with chemicals or substances. Okay, so I have to take off my necklaces, anything that can dangle down. Okay, my nice pearls, got to go. I got to take off my beaded necklace that I made over the summer. I come off. Okay, my watch. Whether it has a cloth band or not, bracelets, rings. Okay. Okay, wait a minute now. What about the earrings? My earrings. I gotta take my earrings out. Well, you, you have to it says remove or cover your Re jewelry. Remove or cover. Okay. I, I just got them pierced, ma'am, Miss Gold. I just got them pierced. What okay. am I going to do? All right. Well, the other option is to cover them. So what do you think we could cover your earrings with? A Band-Aid? A Band-Aid. Okay. Miss Gold, um, I'm allergic to latex. Well, that's okay. We have non-latex bandages in the classroom. Oh, that's convenient. Remember to tell your teacher if you are allergic to latex. Okay, so I just got to cover it up. Cover it up. <laughs> All right. Okay. So 
what we've talked about today is protecting yourself during a lab um, and how to get yourself ready uh, for the lab. So we talked about your feet. And we talked about your arms getting rid Rolling of the dangly sleeves. And dealing with jewelry. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. And hair. Yep. Going back to your hair. Okay, so this is part one on how to protect your body during a lab. Okay, so you should be able to say, I can protect my body during a lab. And I will identify the appropriate dress code for the lab and be able to state why the dress code is necessary. Now, if you can't answer that question, you might want to reverse or go back in your slides and make sure that you can answer what's the appropriate dress code and why the dress code is necessary.